The Angels. Sounding the Melodies of Love. Channeled by Ann Albers. My dear friends, we love you so very much. Each one of you wants to be a contribution to this earth. Each one of you wants to feel you have purpose, and a reason for being. We know that in every moment you have a chance to make your life purposeful, precious, valuable, and impactful beyond words and your human capacity to comprehend. Suppose everyone in the world was singing a tune, or playing an instrument of their choosing. This melody of their song would reflect their emotions, thoughts, and feelings in the moment. Some of you would be playing symphonies of peace, whistling a happy, effervescent tune, or a calming melody. Some of you would be playing upbeat music that makes you want to dance. Some of you would be playing soothing or inspiring rhythms. Some of you would be playing angry discordant beats and blaring, unsettling melodies. Some of you would be playing sad haunting melodies. Others would be playing heart-stopping suspenseful melodies. Imagine for a minute, the absolute din of so many melodies, so many songs being played by the multitude of human hearts. What type of song would you be singing? What type of melody would you hum? Now imagine that the intensity of your emotion determines the volume of each song. The happier you are, the louder your happy tune. The more peaceful you are, the more compelling your relaxing melody. The angrier you are, the more impactful is your discordant melody. Can you imagine? It would be a din unlike any you've ever heard before. Keep in mind that the music is based on your emotional slash energetic offering, not your words. So those of you praying for peace, while sitting in fear, are still emitting fearful melodies. Those of you fighting for even a good cause, while rooted in anger, are still emitting discordant melodies. Those of you who labor in love, peace, compassion, or joy, no matter how sad the world situation, are emitting beauty and harmony. The words of your prayers do not affect the melody. The emotions beneath the words do. So suppose you pray with disgust for what you witness in the world. Your disgust is sounding the melody. Instead, suppose you have a moment of disgust, and then suddenly you focus on a world at peace, and what it would be like to see people hugging, helping, and laboring in love. Suddenly your discordant note is forgotten, and you are playing a beautiful, harmonious composition. This analogy, dear ones, points to the vibrational reality upon your planet Earth, for each one of you is emitting a silent symphony. As the world angers, the discordant energies stir. As the world prays for peace and gets in touch with their hearts, beautiful waves of energy, which are music to our ears, begin to soothe and rock the hearts of humanity. Your melody counts. Your vibrational emission counts. You might be the loving heart that sounds a loving note that helps the symphony of peace rise above the din of war. Your prayers for peace when they come from your love of peace are like beautiful instruments playing in a beautiful symphony. We, in the heavens, are always playing the melodies of peace, love, hope, inspiration, and bliss. As more and more of you attune to these vibrations, emit these vibrations, and sound these notes, you start to lift the world up into a space where your notes join our own, where you can feel us, perceive us, and work with us as agents of peace upon your planet. Don't react, dear ones, to what you see on the news, other than to quickly make a determination that you will sound a note of love, a song of peace, a melody of hope. Join with us and be the changes you wish to see. You are making a difference. You are turning the tides. You are preventing what could have been a horrendous time upon your planet Earth. Sing your silent soothing lullabies of peaceful frequency, to those whose hearts are hurting so much that they create horrendous pain. Emanate your soothing vibrational notes of peace, so those who are being hurt will know they deserve love and that love is there for them. Sing, if not with your voice dear ones, with your hearts, and sing the melodies you would wish to hear, to receive, and to participate in because these silent melodies of frequency are very real, and the changes they inspire in yourself, and the world, are very real as well. We love you. You are coming into a new understanding of reality and your very important place within it. You are stepping into a world where you are the lights, the hopes, the inspirations, and the angels upon your earth. You have purpose, dear ones. It is to emit the melodies of love. All else you do is for your own enjoyment. This unity and emanation with love is your most important purpose of all. God bless you. We love you so very much. The Angels